Hey guys, so I haven't made a recent video in a while and when I asked on Instagram today, a lot of people wanted me to make an updated what's in my dance bag video. So let's get started because I have a new dance bag. I will start this by saying there's a lot more in here than I normally need in here. Um, lately this is because it's such a big bag, it's kind of been a, well let me just throw like 20 pairs, of, not 20, but a lot of pairs of point shoes in here that I definitely don't need all the time. So it's still packed from my intensive for the most part, so that's part of it too. Um, let me start off by saying I always have my phone with me, so I got this awesome case recently. So I have like a ring light on the front of my camera, so it's like making weird lights on there. Um, I also have a pair of headphones with me for stretching, um, just listen to music, but um, phone obviously just because, but also to film classes. And to do that, a lot of people asked I actually use my Apple Watch to start and stop videos. I'll like kind of position, usually I'll position my phone like this kind of in my bag so that it's sitting upright and just hope that it's got me in the frame. Anyway, this is my dance bag. I got it from Target. It is, I think, called the, the Floral Weekender. And it was like, I think $30 maybe. Um, but this is just a much more me bag and better updated bag from the black thing I had before. So it's got like these little, um, snap pockets here and then also has little zip pockets here as well So it's got two on each side and then it's got um, a little bit of pockets on the inside like a purse kind of wood You know the zip one and then the two little ones. It's got that So I have like all of my sewing things all of them in here because honestly Why not? I don't need this much sewing stuff, but it's all in here. So I've got my bun head stitch kit My block Stitch kit, which this is a new one that I've been using and I like it. It's so I probably should show you guys. It just comes with lots of cool little things. Like, and the main reason I wanted it is because it has a seam ripper in it, which I know I could just buy a seam ripper, but I like that it had the little tin to carry it all in. Because I can't tell you how many times I've sewn my point shoes and then go, I hate where that ribbon or elastic is placed, or I hate the ribbons that I had to use because it was what I had at the moment, which is what's happened recently. Um, my split sole ballet flats that I've seen better days. I love those things. These I don't normally have in there. Um, these are my like lyrical shoes that I used for the intensive that I just went to. And then I have two TheraBands, one that's tied and one that's not. Um, I don't use those as much as I should. I really need to get back into that. And then in the zip pocket, I have extra ribbons and elastic, a lot of which I just took off old point shoes and then a little supple tin. So. I don't need all of that, I know that, but it's just all there. And then in this, I have two different balls. I have a like one with ridges and then a like normal tennis ball that I get, like a small one that I can use for my feet or for like my hips or whatever I need to roll out. And then I have hemorrhoid cream because it numbs your toes. If you're in a lot of toe pain from point shoes and you're doing stuff and you can't just like be done for the day, or if you have a performance and you split your toenail like I have done, that is mostly why I bought it. This is the only reason I would ever use it, so that's why it's still in my bag. <laughs> and then I have Freshify Foot Spray. This stuff is wonderful. It smells really good. And I have a pen in that pocket, because I figured if I put those two things in the same pocket and something leaks, it's just those two. I don't keep my point shoe glue in here. I just got the Suffolk glue, because that's what the dance store had. And you're supposed to keep that in the fridge, so it's in my fridge. Um, I have not used it yet. I probably should on these. So. These are my current pair of Suffolks. They are four and a half. They are Sonics. They are four and a half. They are starting to get less supportive. So they're dying. So I just recently re-sewed the other pair here. These are these are four and a half X and these are a five X. The main issue is these four and a halves are squashing my metatarsals and they're really painful but the fives being a half size longer have a longer band, which is hard for me. So, but the dance store didn't have any more four and a half X's. So, um, I just recently got the block cooling towel. I did not actually think this thing would work and I used it in my intensive and I was like, oh my gosh, it works. It was amazing. So that's a good thing. Um, this is a pair of my Gainer Minden three plus boxes that I just re -sewed. I haven't gotten to really use these in class yet, so that's why they're in here, but it was because I really needed to put better ribbons on them. I hated, I don't like the regular satin ribbons. I really like the stretch ones, so those are in here. Um, and then my 
dancer's journal. This thing is wonderful. I think I told you guys about this before. Um, so you can record, you can put lots of pictures in it like I did. You can record things that you've learned in class, notes that you've gotten, all of that in here. Um, so I do try and keep track, but like usually by the time I could get you into my notebook and do anything, it's already gone. And I also have my little tote head bag. This is what I normally use. These are my original Perfect Fit Point pads. They are like on their last leg. They are pretty gross. They are taped because I don't know what to do, but I've, I've molded like four other pairs and they've never worked the same and I don't know what to do. Um, so I'm like holding onto them for dear life, but I know they're gonna give out soon. I've got the Next Care tape. I've got all of these all of these little toe things. So these little toe caps, if I'm having, especially if I'm having like big toe pain from like split toenail especially, that's when I'll use those. These I don't use as much, they're from the Totally Toes kit. I don't think they fit my shoes as well. These are probably my favorite, the Half Moons. Um, those I use in like my Suffolks especially. And then I used to use these all the time. I don't use these as much as I did, but I still keep them in there just in case. So. Dancer's Dots from Gainerman. And these things are a lifesaver. They're, I think they're supposed to be just like second skin, which I have never tried, but um, if my toes are really bad, I will put this on my toe and then tape around it and hope this like holds in place like an extra layer kind of of skin protection. So, my foot roller, I love using this thing. So because my toe pads are kind of on their last leg, I have so many extra toe pads just chilling in here because I don't know what I'm gonna be able to use. Like I have the ouch pouches, which I don't really like. I have these gel wear moy ones that are okay, but they're super thin, so it depends on the shoes. And then the gainer mended ones that I really didn't care for because they're, they're way too thin. And then I have Russian point tope, tape, just for when I run out of the next pair of tape, at least that's tape. It's not my favorite, but it's tape. I have like apparently one extra perfect fit one that just doesn't work, but I think it was the next closest one to working, so that's why it's in my bag. There's probably another one in here too, I don't know. Um, okay, this is a little bit of a weird one, but hey, I have the little pasties to go under my leotard because I don't like just wearing a leotard. It's gotten better to like about two years ago, I was able to like wear a leotard without a bra and I wasn't as weird about it, but I still need like these. <laughs> I have to. It's too weird for me. Um, another pair of ballet flats because sometimes, depending on the floor I'm using, like those split soles do not work on my old studio's floor for doing like promenades and stuff. It was awful because I moved too much. So I have the pro lights from Bach. So they're like mostly leather and then partially canvas and yeah cool they're getting holes in them great i have extra i usually have an extra leotard just in case like either i'm having a wardrobe malfunction like when i was at my intensive i literally ripped two of my favorite leotards i'm not kidding so i have just this one in here that's this block one um it's like a high neck zip mesh one and then i have my gainer one that's got like the cinched front so i've got those I have random pairs of tights, so I have nude and pink. Um, I don't like these nude ones though, so I need to take those out. Those are the ones that are like a really weird, like poopy color. I don't know. Lots of skirts because I just never know. So I've got this rehearsal skirt from Aurora Skirts. Um, so that's really pretty. This is one of my new favorites. This is from Jewel Dancewear. Um, it is, it's got a little jewel on it, um, but it's a more opaque mid skirt, which is gorgeous because you can't see through it and i love that as an adult dancer i would much rather have a skirt you can't see through and see my butt and then my all-time favorite skirt that i wear all the, or well i bring it all the time i don't always get to wear because it, it's really long is my candy and bagel skirt it's like this beautiful sea foam oh i love it i like want to like make a dress out of this material <laughs> Okay, these things are hilarious. They're kind of more of a joke, but they ended up in here because I used them in a video or something. Um, they, I bought these when I first started getting back into ballet because my feet were so bad and I was so embarrassed by them. I thought I was gonna wear these all the time. These are those little like arch inserts. <laughs> so these are, I don't remember, they're like, they were so expensive and I got them from Australia and I'm like, they kind of show under your tights though, but like they literally have like a little silicone bit that adds to your feet, so. I don't actually like ever use them. I think I used them in the beginning a couple times and not even that because they were just kind of a pan. They looked weird. Oh, let's see what papers I have in here. Oh, 
This is the adult summer class schedule. Good to know that I have that. This was, I think this is the one teacher that wanted to, yeah, this is the modern teacher gave us a whole modern lecture thing. I'm not interested in modern, so I'm good. Okay, so now we have like way more point shoes than I could ever need in here. And I have a baggie because I was going to use to put, if I never needed to take my point shoe glue with me, I'll put them in this baggie and put them in here. Um, my three box gainers. I think those are my threes actually. I should probably check that, shouldn't I? Yeah, those are threes. It's my Capizio Kylie's because right now these actually give a ton of support. They just don't look very good on my feet, but they're really supportive. So they're pushing me up where I need to be. And my Russian Point Encores that I have not broken in yet. Like something's weird about how I sewed the heels. I have to sew these on the outside because my Russian Point size is so weird that they're super tight on my foot. But then I'm noticing that they're kind of falling off because they're not fully broken. And yeah, so and that's it, guys. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that even wasn't that long of a video for me. Hey! Uh, and then this awesome shirt is um, from Asteri Dancewear. And it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's like all the major ballet roles. I don't know if you can see that at all. Well, if there's anything in particular that you want to see about my life, if you want me to vlog something, I'm going to do so many videos when I go to England in September, but obviously that's not till September. So, anyway, um, let me know what you think and if there's any videos in particular that you guys want to see and I'll see you in my next video.